Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Suriname episode. Get a Geography Now t-shirt or Geography Now merch at geographynow.com. It's not selling out if it's your brand. Anywho, the episode was great, but we did miss out on a few small things. One thing I forgot to expound on is the fact that there are a lot of Surinamese people in diaspora, like over 400,000. That's almost like 80% of the population of the entire country. The vast majority, about 350,000 of them, moved to the Netherlands. Suriname has this really cool place called Cola Creek because it looks like like Coca-Cola. Forgot to mention Fernandez drink. This stuff is all over the place in Suriname. Geography Mathis sent me the grape flavored one. Thank you, by the way. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Hindustani and Javan Surinamese languages. I actually did a poll on social media and I asked you guys, the Javan and in North Indian subscribers, like when a Surinamese person speaks either Hindustani or Surinamese Javan, how much can you understand? And the vast majority of the Javan subscribers said they could pretty much understand everything. Like Surinamese Javan, Javan is almost perfectly intelligible to Javan, Javan. Whereas those of you guys that spoke the North Indian languages like Bojpuri, Hindi, whatever, you guys said you could generally understand it. There are a few words here and there. It's a little confusing, but you could generally understand it. We did have to kind of take out this part in Hannah's culture segment where she talked about the maroon architecture and handicrafts. The maroons are really well known for their intricate carving and woodwork. And they have these really cool triangular shaped thatched roof houses. And finally, Geography Yvonne sent me a list of superstitions that can be found in Suriname. She says, uh, whistling at night in your house will attract bad spirits. Don't put your purse on the floor or feet on the table, otherwise you will be broke. And finally, the most widespread superstition of all, entering a house at midnight, you must walk backwards inside the house so no evil spirits can follow you. I don't know if you're Surinamese, what do you think of those superstitions? It's not midnight, but... Lots of cool fun facts. If you have anything else, write it in the comments. Otherwise, we gotta move on to the flag. So without further ado... <laughs> Now, I'm gonna be honest, my knowledge of Suriname was a little limited prior to making this episode. And I'm glad that a lot of you guys, the Surinamese geography peeps, helped me out with it. So let's learn a little bit more. With that, to the flag. The flag contains five horizontal bands made of three colors, green on the top and bottom, followed by a half-width white band and a double-width red band in the middle. Also in the middle lies a yellow five-pointed star. The colors and significance are pretty simple, nothing too complex. The yellow star symbolizes unity and a golden future. Some say it may even represent the five main major ethnicities of the country, but that claim is unofficial. The green stands for the fertility of the land, the white stands for freedom and justice, and the red stands for progress. No blood this time. Sorry, guys. Now, prior to independence, they were kind of under the same sovereign status as, you know, Aruba, Curaçao, the Netherlands, Antilles. You know, they were pretty much a constituent country within the Kingdom of Netherlands. And from 1959 all the way up until 1975 when they got their independence, they used this flag. It had five multicolored stars with a black oval interconnecting them to kind of symbolize the unity of all the races. It was kind of met with some criticism, though, because people were like, it's too obsessed with race. So they had a contest, and in 1975, they changed it to this one, which was created by the winner. Otherwise, Suriname's coat of arms has always been a little bit more complex. The image contains two Arawak Indians flanking the sides, giving homage to the indigenous population. They are both leaning on the central shield, an oval with three parts, the central yellow star representing the people of Suriname from the five continents. The green diamond the star is in represents the mining industry. The boat on water on the left side represents the history of trade and commerce. Some claim it also represents the history of being part of the Atlantic slave trade, where people were shipped over from Africa as slaves. On the right side is a palm tree representing justice, and at the bottom of everything is the country motto on a folded banner, Justicia, Pietas, and Fides, which means justice, piety, and fidelity. Prior to this, they had pretty much similar iterations of the exact same coat of arms. It's just a little bit of a different color scheme, like the headdresses or the skin tones. So that's that, the flag and coat of arms. Now you know what time it is. It's time for Geography Fan Mail Time. Alrighty, back to Fan Friday. By the way, get oh, Geography Now, I'll get geographynow.com. As you know, we always have to have guest stars. And this Time. He lives here now in my back house. Mr. Keith. Keith, how do you like living here now? How do I like living here? Re um, replacing Caleb and Jillian. You know, I'm basically Caleb, but like the immature version of him. You are who you are. All right, well, as you know, Keith, you've done this so many times. We start off with postcards. Man, I like this English breakfast. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And the blood pudding. See attached letter. Apparently there's a letter. Who is this from? Zedzi? Zedzi, if you're out there watching this, 
thank you. Leahi, Diamond Head State Monument, Hawaii. It says, my name is Sam, I'm from Pittsburgh, currently in Hawaii, finally went to climb Leahi and it was not disappointing. Thank you, Sam. Keep calm and say, Kama Jabora. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Georgia. My name is Anton. Been watching your channel since 2017 after being in Ar Armenia. Uh, come up to Tbilisi. Sorry. Tbilisi. You and your team should consider a visit. But anyways, <laughs> thank you for the postcard. And actually, there's another person from Georgia. It says, uh, hey, Barbs and Jagger crew. My name is Hanza. I wanted to send you a postcard from Abkhazia, but unfortunately, they don't allow tourists due to COVID. Thank you, Hanza. Hi there. Hope you had a good trip to Greenland now. <laughs> You say it like a Midwestern wife. <laughs> Alexi and Al Alexandria. We've had a lot of postcards from these two. Where is this card from? I don't know. It's uh, Bots. Oh, it is Belgium. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it looks pretty Belgium if I do say so myself. <laughs> and uh, all right, what do we got here? Provence, France. Uh, hey, Barbs and GNT. My name is Guillaume and I live in the southern cliffs of France, right by the lavender fields. Let's best you French. Let's hear? I, I can't read that. Uh, let's, oh, let's test your French. Okay. Uh, je connais la chaîne depuis l'épisode de Denmark. Uh, J'adore tout, uh, tout ce que, tout ce que tu fais. I can't read that. Comme tu fais toujours att attention à bien prononcer les mots dans tous les langues. Thank you. Um, I try my best. Merci, Guillaume. Um, uh, je suis contente pour cette uh, postcard. Oui. Thank you. Oui. Oui. Sao Miguel. Azores. Azores. Yeah. Portugal. They're like the cousins of your Madeira family. Yeah, all hail Portugal. All right. Hey, Barbie, Caleb, Hannah, and of course, Mr. Florida Man himself, Keith. Thank you so much. I am the original OG gangster Florida man. I love watching your videos, especially the one about uh, Slovakia, which is where I'm from. Your faithful viewer, Mate. This is from Marcos. I actually met him in Barcelona and he sends a picture that we took when we met in Barcelona a couple years ago. Jeez, it's so cool that you took this picture. And yeah, man, I've been watching your show for the last three years, particularly enjoyed the Spain, autonomies, Argentina provinces and Brazil states filler week videos. And I recently visited Liechtenstein. It was awesome meeting you in Barcelona. and I uh, thank you for bringing back the memory, man. Here, here's you and me. Wait, and I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. I did this little like where's Paldo game, and then I gave the subscribers clues, and they had to find me. And uh, the clue for Barcelona was like find me at the mammoth, and because in the park there's like a big statue of a woolly mammoth. I feel like I'd be a lot. Well, I mean, I guess we're both kind of easy to pick out in a crowd. Yeah, you are way more easier to e spot than me. Uh, I don't know. I feel like. Uh... Nah, your hair, man. Okay. It's just nothing can compare to the hair. I mean, look at it. All right. So what's up, subscribe? from Hungary. Um, I've been watching your show for several years now. I send you my greetings from a peaceful little town where I spent every summer during my childhood. Hey, Tarchin's here. The view is magnificent. A big woo to Keith. Hey, Barbs and crew. Adore your show. And I've shown some of your video to the pupils I teach here in the UK. Cool. And uh, the postcards, Hong Kong. The other is from Minsk, Belarus and Gloucester. It says, uh, cheers, Joe. Well, thank you, Joe. Hello, Geography Now. I'm writing to you from Schmluggenena, Sweden. <laughs> I'll put the title. I love your videos and am looking forward to the Sweden episode. Picture of this card was taken on top of Mount Kenya. I used to live in Kenya for tw from 2016 to 2020. Thank cool. you so much. Do you speak Swahili? Hey, Paul and all. I like that, Paul and all. Uh, sending this from Leadsville, Colorado. I was originally going to Greenland this summer around the same time as you for an internship, but it got canceled due to COVID. Uh, anyways, hope you have fun and and keep up the good work. Uh, I guess a lot of this was before I went to Greenland. I, I mean, when I went there, they didn't, they didn't close off. So I guess maybe you can do it now. So if you can go to Greenland, definitely recommend it. And check out the uh, Nanook video I did if you wanna see a lot of cool stuff over there. Turchin, you're, you're in my seat. All right, all right, finally. Packages. Oh, we got a uh, Jumakas. <laughs> you can say that because you're Jewish. I know. Look at Tarshan, he's really enjoying you petting him. Hey, Geography Now team, your videos are awesome. I've been subscribed since the Nicaragua episode. Keep up the great work. I'm a Nicaraguan Irish Jew who currently lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's a mouthful. I always say everybody in America needs at least one friend from Wisconsin. That's Wisconsin just, people are nice. They're the most hilarious people, man. I remember when I used to go to the Wisconsin State Fair and I get the cream puffs. Those are so delicious. I am sending 
bringing you a couple of knitted kippas, Nicaraguan coins, and a few paintings I made of the Nicaraguan national bird. Um, side note, if you give a shout out to the Nicaraguan orphanage, uh, Parito Azul. It's an orphanage in Managua where the wonderful people do a thankless task. They take care of special needs children who have to live their entire lives at the orphanage but are adored by the staff. That's so cool. Shout out to Parito Azul Orphanage in Managua, Nicaragua. Doing God's work. Well, thank you, Noel. <gasps> Turkish coffee. To, uh... <laughs> All right, so we got a bunch of chocolates and candies and Turkish coffee. I'm Moritz, an American German geography uh, from Hanover in Northwestern Germany. When I'm not watching your show, I work as an economics and management lecturer. I've been following geography now since 2017. I love learning about different countries and cultures, probably because my family is spread all over the world. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna try this wafer dark chocolate cream thing. Go for it. I don't know where it's from. He says it is Eti brand Karam, a chocolate waffle chocolate. No, this is pretty amazing. And of course, being German, he has to send us Ritter Sport. Thank you for sending all this stuff. It's very good, thank you so much. This is from Capron, Illinois. He sends a bunch of books. Book about Egypt, book about Chicago. That's the Sears Tower, not Willis. I guess this is about Kentucky. The greatest stories never told. And finally, our good old buddy, Wisconsin. Everybody loves Wisconsin. I mean, dude, Wisconsin cheese curds. This is the same Ian who sent you the same number of books over a year ago. Buildings of Chicago, other telling of almost unknown historical facts. This is uh, kind of random, but thank you, Ian. I'm more interested in this one, though. The greatest stories never told. Uh, the cab driver who saved Paris. The revolution in a cereal bowl. Well, thank you, Ian, for these random books. So mm. this package is from Jagger Peep Beverly, and she said she would send this to me. I got an email from her. She has a small business where she makes Haitian coffee, coffee from Haiti. And it is really cool. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys. A really cool brand. It's called Carib Brew. Like Caribbean, Carib Brew. Uh, oh, this is actually hot chocolate. That's Dang. Fine. Oh, this is what I'm going for, Haitian coffee. I love the artwork on the coffee packets. Shade grown at high altitudes and chemical free, our coffee is cultivated by small scale farmers in Haiti. We are committed to fair business partnerships. Your purchases create income, provide better access to education, and contribute to strengthening communities. You can check them out at Carib Brew on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or you can go to caribbrew.com. Support Beverly's small business. And by the way, guys, if any of you have a small business and you'd like me to promote it here on Fan Friday or on my social media, I would love to help you guys. You guys are my subscribers it's the least i could do for you all right keith well that's about it we just opened everything i guess anything yeah. you want to say to the subscribers what do i want to say well first off i want to say who's all <laughs> excited for the sweden episode you excited for the sweden episode i'm excited for the sweden episode yeah me too sweden Whee! hope you have a good one stay cool stay tuned